people just love live theater. And I think people forget that they love it because we're so used to seeing everything on a screen nowadays. But there's just something really special about it you know, right there in front of you. Because I'm Ginny Mendel and I'm, I'm an actor with the Eastern Shore Players. We're on the Eastern Shore, we're in a largely fishing community. Um, you could say it's a very touristy area in the summer, but compared to the rest of Nova Scotia, it's not. The Eastern Shore has always been known as the best kept secret. People who come to see our plays when we're here, they're generally people who've learned about us through the village. Taya kind of started it off, uh, but I think most of it was word of mouth. My name's Taya Wilson-Hammond, and I'm the executive director of the Lake Charlotte Area Heritage Society and Memory Lane Heritage Village. So we did, a, we actually just got a grant to do a sort of a call out and do, to do a workshop, but to, to do a call out to the community and that happened and out of the woodwork came a playwright and great actors and sound people and stage managers. Like the, you suddenly found there were people who had all sorts of skills and talents. And out of that, the first play that we wrote came out of that. Um, and then the group, you know, sort of carved itself off of the village and away they went. I think we're kind of like the host of the group. We provide the venue. It's called the Clam Factory and it's our special event space and it was built specifically to have concerts and um, different kinds of events in there. It's basically where, where everything takes place most of the time. However, we've done walkabout productions and we've also done dinner theatre. The dinner theatre took place in our cookhouse, which is another, you know, which is a a cookhouse that we operate here during the day and the walkabout theater used all of the sort of existing buildings that are on the site. My name's Robin Weber and I am almost exclusively the director. Taya called me and said would I be available uh, to uh, to do some directing mm -hmm. and talk me into it basically. It wasn't all that hard to do, I like directing. They're normally comedies based usually somewhere loosely around the 1940s we did a play about a, a wedding. We did a play about a ghost story. We did Ned, and that was about a box. I think one of the, the key components in, in our whole process is our the workshop that we have that is like the catalyst for the development of the play. I mean, as, as Sue said, we often have an idea about what we're going to do, but coming up with the ideas uh, is collaborative. We, we throw, you know, before we have the workshop, we throw ideas out and we, we talk about them and we do different scenarios and, and then that kind of comes together. We choose where we think we're going and then we have the workshop with professional actors, as I mentioned, like Pam Halstead and Mary Bingo and um, Jeremy Webb and... and uh, Mary Colin Chisholm and Wanda Graham, I must say, she was our first person and she really pushed us. <laughs> and I think we learned just so much. Mm -hmm. So out of that process comes, as Sue said, the um, character development and, and, you know, things start to, mm -hmm. to coalesce. Mm -hmm. I'm Sue Hicks and I do most of the writing. Usually we've talked about what we want to do at the workshop, so I come away with everyone's ideas of say a start and an end and then just put it together and then then we workshop the play so I had a couple of plays put on at the King's Shorts you know and that mm -hmm. was loyal and to be honest if I hadn't done that those 10 minute plays I wouldn't have come along to this group because I didn't want to act but I just come along and said oh I've done a bit of writing and it was like Oh, there's someone who can write, because I was the only one that had ever done a little bit of writing, so it's thrown in the deep end, but it's been so good. Um, well, my name is Bobby Mildenberger, and predominantly I am the stage manager for the group. And I'm told that I am the first sort of formal stage manager the group has had, so it's been really fun. It's been an opportunity to do some teaching and there are some aspects of stage managing here that one doesn't normally do. I guess the biggest thing is being the sheep herder, <laughs> getting the sheep that wander around here in memory lane out of the rehearsal space when necessary, or dogs or cats. So that's fun, and I also, because it's small, end up doing other littler things like 
occasionally a very small on stage role or um, running the light board mm -hmm. or doing things that the stage manager normally mm -hmm. wouldn't. The folks in this group and uh, just, you know, very kind of welcoming and very, very, very encouraging. And, uh, you know, I get frustrated and think that I'm never going to remember this or oh, I've messed that up. Um, everyone just kind of jumps in to, to, to help out and very supportive and encouraging. And that makes the world a difference. So there's, I think there really is something for everyone. My name is Gordon Hammond. I live in Clam Harbour. Then last year I wrote my first play. It was called Let's Not Talk About It. It was the federal government plan to potentially create a marine protected area on the eastern shore. So you brought the people that would view an MPA as automatically a good thing because it's about marine preservation, together with other people who would view it as threatening their livelihood. I approached it because it was something, um, it was a mechanism for me to basically um, talk to the community about something I thought was important. And so there's that kind of social messaging that theatre can do. What we were basically trying to do is take the piss out of both sides, like the scientist side, the, the fisherman side, and make everybody laugh so that they would talk about it. Mm -hmm. I and uh, Sheila, who is not here, um, who's also near my age, we both, we were the, like the van white right. people. We the <laughs> so we had short people. shorts, fishnet stockings, Lawn wigs, and everybody said, Oh, you look so great, you should wear that wig all the time. <laughs> I love the group so much, and the effort that everybody puts into it. And, and we have, I, I think, we laugh, you know, we just laugh, and we have a great time. I think my favorite part about directing in general is helping someone do something that they don't think they can and showing them that they really can do it and seeing that happen on stage. I think the camaraderie of the group, it's a wonderful, wonderful group. We have a lot of laughs and a lot of good time together and I think it's wonderful to see this little group come together and just work so hard. But I like the collaboration and I like I like the interaction and and I love the audience reaction. But that for me is, is less the audience reaction. It's the process that I really like. It's important because there are not necessarily that many things that communities can do where people can work together and collaborate, maybe resolve issues there might be, but above all, they have fun and the audience has fun. Mm -hmm. And that's true, I think, mm -hmm. of every play that Eastern Shore Players has ever done.